welcomed, welcome, welcome to the presentation of our new baby in the family, the Vivo S9. The Vivo S9 incorporates all the things we've done with the S7 together with our great J7. So let me give you some ideas about the sound, starting with our signature sound, the Vivo Grand, and of course we do a little bit of classical music to do that. Forty-eight kilohertz, twenty-four bit, and our sample length is fifteen seconds. So I can keep this note for a very, very long time. I have a very high dynamic range because of the twenty-four bit, from very soft to maximum fortissimo. Also, we have access to um, the components in the sound using our T2L engine, so we can increase or decrease the hammer noise in the sound. Increasing, decreasing, and the resonances and the damper sound, etc., etc. So I created a patch that I call Head Inside the Grand Piano which brings your ears very close to the mechanical parts and to the soundboard. Then this year we also introduced a couple of new sounds, such as the German Grand Piano. which has a very different flavor from the American Grand that you have just been listening to. So this one would be for jazz players probably or for a classical approach. <laughs> then also we recorded a Japanese Grand Piano. This one would be for rock and pop because it's a very strong and very fat sound, also very high dynamic level. So very, very strong, this instrument. Then, of course, we also have our beautiful upright piano. For the pop music, many times upright piano sounds are used. And many times people are using a filter for filtering the sound down. We can, use, we can do that in real time using the modulation wheel. Or even the connected expression pedal. Again, all the details and nuances. Every sound we did, we did with a lot of love to all the details and we meticulously took care that we are able to reproduce those details in our complete lineup of instruments. These two new sounds that I've been introducing to you, the German Grand and the Japanese Grand, will be available for download shortly on our website, for free, of course. And uh, also, 
for all our instruments this year, we introduced a new software version, 4.0 Aqua Viva, that gives you a lot of new features. One of these features is you can decide by yourself which sounds you would like to keep in the instrument and which sounds we would you'd like to park on the side. You will never lose them, but you can park them on the side to get space for new sounds. So uh, when you download the uh, German grant and the Japanese grant shortly from now, then you can park some of your internal sounds to the side and you import those new sounds to enjoy them. This is one of the new features. The second of many new features is you use one USB cable and connect it to your laptop or to your iPad and USB and audio is transmitted simultaneously on that one USB cable, so you don't need any further audio interface anymore. Then let's go from here to the electric pianos. This is just a pure sound, no effects added, nothing. Again, 48 kilohertz, 24-bit, long sample time. Now, with the S9, we have a couple of new sliders and new uh, knobs here for direct access of the multi-effects. So let me just switch on the tremolo. And using those uh, knobs, I can increase the depth of the tremolo, decrease it again, or the tremolo speed. As a second effect slot, I've been using the overdrive here. So just let's switch it on. Increase the overdrive mode a little bit. Also using our T2L engine, for example, in this sound, uh, the road sound, we have access also to components in the sound, such as hammer noise, etc. But also the bell component of the sound, I increase now. So you can also customize the sound by yourself for the needs you have in your music. So let me show you one other patch I created for kind of a beautiful Rhodes ballad with a lot of reverb, a lot of chorus, and also a layered synth sound that I can bring in with my expression pedal. Also with the OS 4.0, we introduce a couple of new multi-effects, such as a wah-wah. And again, I can use my expression pedal to drive the wah-wah. Thank you very much. Then the Wurlitzer sound. Split point, synth bass on the left side. Then, synthesizer on both sides. Even with organ sound, let's get rid of that for a second. Here we go. Blending in the organ sound using the fader here. Rotary speaker, slow. Fast. So very strong and very big sound. In addition to these four sounds that I have been using in real time, we can have four individual programmable keyboard zones that will transmit MIDI data, controller data, using those sliders, all the knobs, via MIDI out or via USB.